Right, now you're on this one. I'm sure it's having two. Pleasure to get out of this and really look good. Exposing tyrants and thugs, man. Sorry? Exposing tyrants and thugs. Lola's got nothing better. Exposing? Yeah. the views you get from YouTube isn't it? So you want to do something silly so you get views and great one. Do you think protecting people's private information is silly? Do you? <coughs> yeah? The more views you get the better it is for yourself isn't it? Hey, that's what you think, that's up to you, I'm talking to your opinion. It's a good opinion. In your opinion? You know what they say, opinions are like bottles. <coughs> Everyone's got one. They're usually listing. He's getting a proper buzz out of this, isn't he? Seriously, a proper buzz. Yeah, you're the one who stood here. Oh, you're getting a proper idiots. buzz though, my friend. It's not as much fun as your mate gets out of this cocaine. You fucking must know about cocaine, you twat. What'd you call me? Yeah. You heard hey? what I said. Yeah, I did. So did the camera. Yeah. That'll go to your boss. And that's actually uh, illegal. Yeah. So I'll report that to the cops when I get here as well. Yeah, report whatever you want. Oh, I will, mate. I will. Report I will. that I ain't got a license as well, yeah? Yeah, I will. Make sure. I will. No, I'll, I'll report that you haven't got it on display. Yeah, So you're going to wait outside for me, apparently. Oh, uh, listen to this. You're going to wait outside for him, apparently. That's it. <laughs> Love a bit of crack, me. Eight ball for breakfast. That's why you got nothing better to do, isn't it? That's it. Eight ball for breakfast. Might as go out there and get a job. You see what your mum does for ethics? Yeah. What did your mum do? <laughs> you don't want to know, mate. It'd yeah. embarrass you. Make you blush. Must not. Because you're just touching my stuff now, aren't you? Get out of this, seriously? What? Mate, this is just amusing. Ah, the lengths that you lot will go to to, <coughs> As in, to obstruct somebody's freedom. You're yeah. in somebody's premises, my friend. Yeah, but this freedom. is a public place. Freedom's out there. Public place, mate. Freedom of expression is freedom available in a public place. Public places out there, my Public friend. places in here as well. Private property, but public place. I'm keeping my cool, so it's all right. Yeah, you are, actually, to be yeah. fair. Other than the hand in my camera, which is fine. I just find that funny, to be honest. But you've been much better than those two. Um, you've actually, yeah, like I said, you've kept your cool. <laughs> like, 
You know, yeah, that's good, man. That's how it should be. Like, if you're doing a security job, you should be able to keep your cool. I should be able to say realistically anything to you, and you should be able to keep your cool because that's what you get paid to do, isn't it? The one with the glasses, mate, he's, he's not in the right job for this. <laughs> or the other one, actually, for that matter. He ain't got the right temperament. <laughs> Do you wear your license on display? Out of interest, do you wear your license on display? I'm not because not, not, not I want to film it, I'm just, yeah, you do it, it's on the lanyard in there, obviously, yeah, that's why you've zipped it up. So that's two of you that do, and one of you that don't, obviously. <laughs> How do you know I haven't got it? Huh? Because huh? it's not on display, is it? That's what I'm saying, I'm not saying you don't have it. It is on display, but you can't cheat. That's not on display then, is it? Yeah. I think you need to go back and retake GCSE English. Smiling and winking, something about a car park. So these cameras are good, man. Uh, these set microphones are good. They've just picked up everything you just said. So if anything happens to me, it's fine. Was it you that said you think I'm doing this for YouTube, was it? Well, I, I can't remember who, I, I can't remember which one of you said it, I think it was you. It's just funny, whoever said it anyway, it's just funny, like, because if that is the case, the longer you act like fools, it's, it's the longer the footage goes on for, isn't it? So, you, you know, if that's what you think it is, your best thing is to just walk I'm away. I'm not the one that's acting like a fool. I mean, so. well, I mean you are, though. I like I well, actually, to be fair, no. I haven't said much. Uh, like I said, you sta uh, no, standing there with your hand, with the hand in the camera. Hand, yeah, yeah, yeah that's because... a little bit foolish, but you haven't been as bad as these two. I'll give you that, I'll give you that. You mate, he thinks he's a copper with his vest, doesn't he? <laughs>
Are you trying to give me your butt? I don't swing that way, man. What's wrong with you? Keep hitting me, man. Just because your friend's trying to give me his butt. Like... It's alright, it's all on the cameras around here and I'll be getting access to that camera. <laughs> Freedom of information request? Subject access request? I like that one. You heard us of a subject access request? That's you, you carry on with that, no Yeah, yeah. Subject access request, mate. Under Data Protection Act, I'm allowed access to it. You check with your superiors, call it through. Sorry? You check with your superiors, call it through. Say, oh, can this chap get a copy of this DCTV? They'll be like, yeah, fine. Don't need my details. That's fine, I'll email them to them. I'm entitled to get it. This chap with the glasses, man. It's violent. Hit me in the forehead with his phone. Then just whacked me on the back of the helmet as he walked past. Kicking my bag around. Where's he gone? Which way? Kicking my bag around. Uh, what else was he doing? Uh, yeah. yeah, he's a violent, violent man. See, there you go. Purposely walked towards him to brush me. Which the camera shows. He's not in the right job, man. I want to beat people up, mate. Become a boxer. He actually goes home and takes it out on his wife instead. Who knows? <laughs> getting close to me again. Trying to find where my camera's not pointing so he can attack me. I don't know. Not realising it's all on the cameras in here. I'm gonna let him hold me. I'm on YouTube anyway. It's too late, you know, exactly. <coughs> yeah, but I'm on YouTube anyway, so it's alright. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I'm on YouTube as well, all over the place. I'm on the police computer systems, I'm on the G4S systems, so guys like that taking my photo while it doesn't bother me. Because I'm in a public place, you're allowed to do it. I've got no issue with it. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> What buzz do you get out of this? Hmm? I don't know what buzz do you get out of it. I agree. I'm just exercising my rights and protecting people's privacy. How? By highlighting the fact that this DWP is breaching the GDPR and DPA. And then I try to relay that to a manager. 
And then what they should do is take action and to stop that from happening. So, like, when that woman's working on that computer, right, I'll have a civil conversation with you because you're being civil with me. But when um, that woman's working on that computer, I understood her, like, just looking at the posters over there, and I just turned my head and I could see she was on somebody's journal, which had their name, address, everything, all their information. Then she switched down to her emails, which will see internal emails, lots of sensitive information going on on that. And I'm like, I shouldn't be able to see that from this public place. Like, I should, like, even if I'm recorded or not, I shouldn't be able to see it. That's the data breach, just seeing it. So I, I recorded it. And then I just, I, just, I put it out of the arse. I was like, ah, oh, who's the manager on today? Can I talk to them if they're not busy? They said they're in a meeting. I said, okay, assistant manager then. Now all the team leaders are in a meeting. And I was like, okay, no worries. And then they just started kicking off. And I'm like, you know, I just wanted to politely raise the issue that the law's being broken there. That's all I wanted to do. You know, and in a public place, we have freedom of expression. Article 10 of the Human Rights Act. In a public place, you're allowed to gather and disseminate information for the public. Press the button on the side. Yeah. You're allowed to gather and disseminate information to the public. In a public place. And that's what this is. It's private property, I get that, but it's still a public place. It's like Tesco is a public place. It's private property, but it's a public place. And as soon as they said they're calling the police, I don't want the police to come here and then have to waste their time looking for me. So I said, right, I'll wait for the police then. I've got no issue with that. I'm not doing anything wrong. I've got no issue waiting for them. Save them having to then go look for me somewhere else. I'll just wait for them to deal with it. Said that geezer that came up. But there's a calmer way of doing it besides getting phones and cameras out, don't you think? No, because nobody, no, nobody listens, isn't it? It's like protesting, isn't it? Like, you can stand by the side of a road with a placard. Everyone's just going to drive past you and no pay, pay no attention. But they're going to do that anyway. But then, yeah, but it gets the attention. It gets the attention of the media. It gets it to a wider audience. It gets the message across. People actually start to take notice when you're a little bit of a annoyance. And I get that it's annoying for you because you're just trying to go about your daily job, and I get that. Like, and that's why I don't come in here and instantly start getting aggressive with you. With you. I tried to politely ask for a manager, and I wasn't, wouldn't have a go at them either. I would have said, just so you know, from the public areas, I can see this, this, and this. Please address it. You know, I'm not a rude person. I'm rude when people are rude to me. But otherwise, you've been nice to me. I'll have a chat with you. It's not a problem, man. I'm cool with that. But, yeah. You know, during COVID, I had to sign on for Universal Credits for six months because my, my job short, my job fell short of hours because of COVID, everything was closing. So I had to sign on for six months. Every time I came, I had to sign my name, my address, my national insurance number on a piece of paper that was then just left on a desk for the next person to see. And I'm like, man, that's my personal private information. That shouldn't be on display for the next person to see. I shouldn't be able to see those that have signed in before me. That's wrong. But because I was claiming at the time, if you're trying to stand up for yourself while you claim, you've always got that fear of, oh, am I going to get sanctioned? Am I, am I going to lose out on this? You know, and you feel like you don't, you can't stand up for yourself. So somebody's got to come and do it for him. And that's what I was trying to explain to that guy who came in, you know, that was sat down there, he came up here. You know, I was saying, he doesn't get it because until it happens to him, his private information gets leaked. Until it happens to him, he doesn't see the issue. But when it does happen, yeah, he'll be the first to say, why did that happen? Everybody's information, right? Yeah, yeah. If you're talking to somebody on the phone, yeah, give yeah. me an example. If you're talking to somebody on the phone, right? They've got all your information anyway. What do you mean? Right? It could be somebody from a sales department or it could be somebody from a life insurance department mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, randomly, yeah? Right, right. They've got your name. They'll probably phone you up saying, you know what, yeah, have you got, you know, yeah, position it? But that's because but people aren't being. You also got to understand. But people aren't being careful with who they're understand. consenting to yeah. cookies with but online. That's what that is. <clears throat> but then you also got to understand is the people that you give your details to, they've got everything anyway, and they sell it on, and they sell it on, and they sell it on. Yeah, because you're because and that's because people aren't being careful enough when they're online and you click, oh, do you accept cookies? A lot of people say, yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever, because they just want to get to the information on the page, and they don't manage it properly. And what they don't realise is they're consenting to their details being sold off. <laughs> This is a government organisation. They don't have that right to sell off. You know, we don't consent to them selling off our information to third parties. This is a government organisation. I'm not going into Tesco and doing this. I'm doing this in a government organisation. That's the importance of it to me, is the fact that this is part of our government that is supposed to protect us 
and they just don't care about our private data at all. But that's your opinion, that's what I'm saying. Well, it's not, it's, it's fact, though. Look around, you can that's see it. Opinion. You can I'm... see it happening. Oh, sorry, buddy, I didn't mean to. Okay. But yeah, but, um, but yeah, you can see it happening. Like, as, I, as you're looking around, that's what I'm saying. I've tried to raise it with the manager, who's a government employee, that people's private information is being leaked, and she's done nothing about it. She doesn't care. <laughs> And that's wrong, man. But on the other hand, I'm asking you politely, just on a man to man yeah, yeah, yeah. basis, to quietly leave the building, but you're sort of putting a bit but, of a. Yeah, well, when the police. Yeah, well, actually, but again, it wasn't you that originally asked me, it was them, and they were very aggressive about it. But so I'm that's a different you, but story. I'm asking you politely. Yeah, but they. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. And I'll tell you what, if you, if, I'll tell you what, if, <laughs> if this were a different situation, I hadn't already had this dealing with these two, yeah, maybe we, you and I could come to some sort of agreement because you do seem decent. But I'm a decent, I'm a, I'm a decent yeah, enough yeah, bloke, and, and you steam it. I'm not gonna lie, you really do. But these two, I've already had this issue with them, and they've yeah, already. But, but they, I know, but they've called the police, and I was, yeah, as I said, them two. You, you know, I, know. I know you're in conversation with myself. Yeah, yeah, but I know. But yeah, the, I said they've called the police, and as I said, I'm gonna wait here for the police. Like, you know, I don't want the police to be around looking for me. Go get the screen. Screen the studio. Nothing. Screen the studio. Aggressive to your no, you haven't. No, you haven't. Like I said, you've been decent, man. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. You have. You know. As much as I do this, like I said, I expose tyrants and thugs. I'll happily give praise where praise is due, and you've been decent. Like, that's fair. I'll be first to admit it. Yeah. Again, apart from that, <laughs> the camera, but whatever. You do, you, man. Like I said. Well, yeah. I think you should got to protect yourself, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. If you're in a public place, you've got to create your own privacy if you want it, haven't you? It's like me, I'm protecting myself from the camera. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm not, to be really realistic with you, I'm not swearing at you. No, no. <coughs> I don't like swearing, I don't like people swearing at me or no. me my family members. That's fair, man. Right? Because I've been quite reasonable with yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way it be, that's the way it goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it was this guy behind me called me a, a twat, I think it was, wasn't it? Not very pleasant, is it? It's not what you expect when you come into a government facility to be sworn at by staff. Is it okay for you to swear at his mum? Pardon? You said you come out of his mum's bed? I didn't swear at his mum, did I? No. What did you say? Oh. What bed did you come out of today and you got his mum's? Did he bring your parents into it? No, he didn't. So I mean, you don't bring other people. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, didn't I said, I, that, yeah, I was wound up at that point because these two have been winding me up, yeah. you know. And I will get cheeky. Yeah, but, but the difference is, I'm a member of the public. You're, you're, you're contracted by the government. You, you're okay. supposed to hold to yourself to a standard. Okay. You won't be contracted by the government for very long. I can tell you that. Okay. You'll be here as a claimant before you know it. No problem. Put in a complaint with the SIA, get your license revoked. Put in no a complaint problem. with G4S, get your sack. No problem. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm on my guy. You said I haven't got a license? No, I said you haven't got it on no, display, no, no. is what I said. Earlier you, on, you weren't saying that. Yeah, I was. I said, no, you didn't. I said, are you not licensed because it's not on display? I was asking. My license never... is on display. It's not, though, is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> is it invisible, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Just seen a police car go by, I think they might be here. Start looking at it in this way, my friend. The police come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're still going to escort you out. I'm just giving you the... No, they're the not, thing. though. They don't have the power to, man. No, they're it's still the... going to escort you out. They don't. They don't they'll have the power. They'll probably ask you politely, but they'll still escort you no, out. No, they don't have the power to. That's the thing. They have no power. <coughs> Trespass isn't a criminal matter, so they have no power to. So, technically, you're going to stay here till closing time? Well, once the police have come and been, and they explain to you that what I'm doing here is legal and lawful, and that you shouldn't be having that information on display, if you don't want somebody filming it from a public place, then it shouldn't be viewed visible. You know? There we go. Right. How are you doing? How are you doing? You alright? Yeah, good, good. Cool. Um, put that up. 
to now I'm going to put this up because I want my privacy because I know that they use live streaming body cameras. <laughs> Birmingham police use live streaming body cameras, like so I'll create my own privacy. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, that's not a problem. If you want it, create it. Yeah, what's she calling me? Yeah, Do you really need to... I need to film the police, yeah. I've been recording you guys at the end of the day. Once you start getting in my face and getting in my personal space, of course I'm going to record. I don't do that much. No, no, no. I'm not. Well, to say you have been in my personal space a lot. You haven't been aggressive with it, but you've been in my personal space a lot. <laughs> Your hand, you've been like right up on me, like right around here, and you. But anyway, my point is the other two have been very aggressive. I record because if anything happens, and, and that's evidence of it, isn't it? You know. Same with the police. If they do anything wrong now, they've got their cameras, but sometimes that goes missing. You know. Uh, sometimes it get edited out, you know, it's not always kosher. So I'll record my version of it as well. Keeps everybody accountable, doesn't it? I'm on your cameras, I'm accountable. You're on mine, you're accountable. That's all it's about. Because their body cameras are live streamed, that's why. So, like, the same reason I won't give them my name and address, but they can use their live streaming cameras. So. Birmingham and London is the only place that I do this.
Oh, shut up. How you doing? Yeah, good, thank you very much. Can good I just good. get your name, buddy? What's that for? Um, so it's been in the fence alleged, okay? Section 4, public order. I need to ascertain your name, and date of birth, and address. So okay. as I can make. Um, can I ask what the details are for section four? What, what, what's the what's what's the threshold that's been okay, met for the section four? That you have made some comments towards a member of staff here about okay, such as for defence. I'm not going to interview you right now, okay? Because ultimately, if they decide they want to interview you, you can do it under caution. I'm not going to have that conversation with you here and now. So all I need from yourself some details. You need to leave. Uh, that's the bottom line. Um, okay. And then you need to not come back as well. So. Why, what, okay, so why do I need to leave and not come back? Okay, I want you to leave to yeah, yeah. breach the peace. So right. if you come back and I fear there's going to be an escalation of violence or tension, we can arrest you for breach of peace. Okay. Or we can arrest you for the offence of public order and we'll just take you to custody. I'd much rather that you go home, to be honest. I don't think it's really proportionate to lock you up at this point in time. Right. However, we have got an allegation, so I need to ask you okay. the details. And your caller number? 24607. 24687. 24607. Yeah. And yourself, ma'am? 26064. 26064. Yeah. Thank you. And your names? Constables? PC Brand. PC Brand. PC Divinia. Sorry, say that again? PC Divinia. Divinia, thank you. And based out which station? Uh, Bourneville. Where? Bourneville Lane. Uh, Bourneville Lane, yeah? Bourneville. Okay, right. Okay. So if, if I don't give you my details, you're going to have to arrest me and take me to custody because they've alleged a Section 4. Yep. So if this Section 4 comes back to be false, <coughs> what will happen to them? It's an allegation. We, we, we arrest based on suspicion. Okay. Obviously, evidence will have to be okay. collected on the matter. Okay, can I allege then against this tall one uh, here? Because he's called me a TWAT. Okay. Okay. So, if they're going to put in a section four, I would also like so to. So, you're more than happy to. Yeah, yeah. I'm more than happy yeah, to. Yeah, I'll, if, yeah, I'll give. Yeah, if I'm going to give my details to make the complaint. So. Fair what I have to say is I'm dealing with you. At yeah, the yeah, moment. yeah. You do want to make a formal complaint of an offence that's been committed against you at another yeah. time. Well, wait, wait, you can take complaints however, of both, however, can't you? What I've got at the moment is three witnesses saying that you've committed an offence. And I've got independent witness, independent witness, and lots of independent witnesses on the ceiling. OK, you're talking about CCTV. CCTV, my camera which records audio, yeah. this camera which records audio. Okay. I've got him calling me a TWAT. Okay. OK. I've got them all surrounding me, putting their hands on my property, okay. which is a breach of the peace because they're interfering with my property okay. through fear of harm. So actually... You should be able to take it from both sides. If there's an allegation from both sides, Constable, Fair then enough. you need to take Fair it from both well, sides. What I'm saying to you at the moment is that I'm dealing with you for the yeah, yeah. that's been alleged against you. Like I say, if you want to make a formal okay. complaint afterwards, you're more than welcome to do to so. To you, yeah. However, I won't be taking that. I won't be taking that from you today because Why? I'm dealing with the allegations that have been made against you. And okay. well, you, you can deal with allegations against them at the same time. It's no, the same I'm report. Dealing, I'm dealing it's the same report. Listen, 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 I need your details. And I'll okay. give them to you. That's not a problem. Okay, can I take your first name? Please. Well, I'll go outside and do it because I don't want these here in it. Or I'll write it down for you actually because I don't want to say out. That. I'm, I'm happy with that. Have you got any paper yeah. or anything we can take from the gents? Because yeah. I don't want to say my details out in public. Okay, that's fine. No worries, we'll do it that way. Um, I'll also need your address and date of birth as well if you're happy to write that on a piece of paper for me. Koji, Koji, uh, I think it's just name and address, isn't it? Or name and date of birth. To confirm your identity ultimately. If you I think it's name and date of birth. I don't think you need address. I do need your address. Mm, no. You don't wanna fuck with me A slow burn like